Oh, we're in 26. Jericho v. Edge. All right. WrestleMania 26. Now, what's Jericho and Edge? What do they got? What's with them? Okay, so I will tell you just as soon as I can. Uh... Oh, God, I remember this Royal Rumble. Okay, so at the Bash in 2009, Edge and Chris Jericho won the Unified Tag Team Championship. Their partnership was short-lived when Edge had to vacate his half of the title, and Jericho would distance himself from Edge, crediting himself for all of the team's success. Okay. Uh, at the 2010 Royal Rumble, uh, Edge made his surprise return and uh, won, throwing out... Chris Jericho, John Cena, and Batista, uh, as well as HVK, who was going undergoing some sort of personal meltdown or something. Who was? I can't remember. Uh, Shawn Michaels. Really? Okay. Yeah, he got thrown out of the ring on accident because he kept going to the top rope, uh -huh. and then he got pushed off, and then he got so mad that he super kicked a ref, and then like five more refs came and were like, "Hey, you need to stop." And then HVK walked out like screaming and kind of crying. Whoa. I, I don't like I don't know. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be some sort of meltdown, but it wasn't clear. Okay. Uh three weeks later Jericho won the heavyweight championship at the Elimination Chamber. So the following night after the Elimination Chamber, Edge announced his decision to face Jericho for the World Heavyweight Championship and punctuated the announcement by spearing his former tag team partner. So it's just a plain old uh, regular heat rivalry. Uh, Edge is mad at Chris Jericho because Chris Jericho's being Chris Jericho. Oh, we're actually gonna get three matches at WrestleMania 26. Yeah. You mentioned uh, like that. You, like know, the, which... you mentioned that the matches are sort of weighted towards more recent m manias. Yeah. Yeah, and I imagine it's because these people are all still under contract, so they can't. They want to push them. Yeah. Liberally use them. So, okay, is this uh, HBK versus Undertaker? Is that one of the other ones we get to play? Um, yes, it is. Cool. That's coming up right is, after this. Uh, right? I think we get no, to play that'll both. be the last one of, of this uh, event. But yeah, we do get to play H Michaels versus Undertaker main event. Michaels versus Undertaker, both one and two, are probably some one of my favorite matches. Yeah, those are those are like pretty. Some of the more. Legendary of recent years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, I'm almost positive that this is after Sean has come back as a born again Christian. Okay. No, he, no, he, 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 he became religious in real life, didn't he? Yeah. I, yeah, I thought so. To, it, it was after he sobered up okay. went to rehab. Okay. Now, um, some matches from tonight that we won't be seeing. Include Bret Hart versus Mr. McMahon. Oh yeah. In a no holds barred lumberjack match. Um, yeah. Uh, Triple H versus Sheamus. Um, wow. Randy Orton in a triple threat match with Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. Yes, this was the breakup of legacy. I didn't know. I never knew Ted DiBiase made any returns like that. Oh no! This is Ted DiBiase Jr. Oh, 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 okay. That 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 makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so after Triple, after uh, uh, Randy was kicked out of Evolution, mm -hmm. he went on to form his own stable called Legacy, Legacy, which was Cody Rhodes, who is the son of Dusty Rhodes. Oh, okay. And oh, were they also... all like Legacy? So they were like all like like like. Multi generational wrestlers. Yes. Okay. And uh, you know Cody Rhodes is also half brothers to Gold Dust. Okay. Uh, and then Ted DiBiase Jr. Oh, and they are um, out, so leading to a triple threat match. Yeah, they they broke up, all feuding for the title. Or right. uh, wait, no, did they have a title? No. Well, there would have been three of them. They couldn't have all had the title. No, so it was just the the culmination of their breakup. I guess Randy Orton lost his title. That makes sense, though. Um, Sean uh, Michaels. 
no, no, sorry. Uh, Bret Hart and the Bret Hart Mr. McMahon match was actually booked uh, against uh, Bret Hart's um, advice. Really? How did they even get Bret Hart to come back, considering how much he hates McMahon and all that? Uh, he he came back after long-term negotiations. Uh, the night Bret Hart came back, they had both Shawn Michaels and uh, Mr. McMahon apologize. Really? Yeah. And Bret and Shawn, at least in kayfabe, settled their differences. I, it's very, very possible that there's I, still real life animosity. I think there. I'm pretty sure there is. I, I could be wrong. But. Um. There's a lot of rumors that it was uh, contract negotiation, because they do like. It, I believe it wasn't long after that that they released the Bret Hart documentary DVD. I think I've seen that. Um, the official WWE I, one. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I've and seen I want to say that. Um, that Bret Hart came back to avoid um, them doing the whole ultimate destruction of the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, they thing. didn't want you didn't want it to be like a hatchet job or something. Yeah. Really. So so it's like if he was actually part of the company again, then they would they they'd be pushing him instead of trashing him. Yep. Interesting. Uh, but I do know that uh. Brett was like, yeah, I'll do this, it's fine, but I can't wrestle because I got kicked in the head and if I take a bump, I would die. Yeah, he had a bad, bad concussion, right? Yeah, I can't remember who kicked him in the head, but I know he got kicked in the head and, like, suffered some sort of stroke. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's right, it was really... Okay, fave breaking, I need to look up Lion Tamer. Grounded lower body, okay. Um, and so Vince is like, yes, this will be great, and uh, Brett's like, no, this is stupid. Uh, I can't actually take a bump, so this is a bad idea. And uh, Vince is like, no, it'll be great. I'll bribe the whole Hart family to to betray you. It'll be a callback to uh, well, his feud with to, Owen. To um, the Montreal Screwjob, oh. and they're like, what? He's like, whoa, why do you think this is a good idea? Why, you, why do you want to call back to that? Yeah. Yeah. That's odd. Why does any of this seem like a good idea? And so, um, he does it, that goes underway, and obviously the family refuses to betray him. Oof. Close one. And so the rest is history. But I do recall like people being underwhelmed by it because Vince McMahon is old and Bret Hart is old and neither and of them take, can and really can't take, take a, bump a bump. Or he will literally die. Yeah. That's that puts like I mean. imagine Vince could because you know Vince is well, surprisingly he's in durable. remarkable condition for his age. Yeah. Yeah. Walls of Jericho. All right, is that one of your objectives, or? Uh, no, I've already performed the Walls of Jericho. Uh, my final objective is to perform a code breaker, code and win breaker? by pinfall. I've always liked Jericho's like weird kind of um, oof, uh, weird like um, Matrix style motif moves. But I've never really understood them. Uh, when he made his recent comeback, like he did it with a bunch of promos that made no sense. Like that featured this little girl on a swing talking about the end of the world. <laughs> I think I've seen and some she, of this. Yeah, and she's like talking to a boy in a sterile white room, and she's like, where will you be when the world ends? <laughs> when the uh, Herald of Destruction comes and... <laughs> All this, and then <laughs> they're bringing back Chris seven. Jericho. Chris Jericho comes back, and we're like, "This is who they were talking about." <laughs> like Chris Jericho's awesome, but he's not the herald of destruction. 
Chris, Chris Jericho, history's greatest monster. <laughs>